Home to the time on a tradition of sudden death. Now let's get it. Ooh. Noxus? <clears throat> Noxcrayer Arena. Round end. Your strongest ally and the weakest enemy strike each other. Okay. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Scorched Earth. We'll come back to the landmark in a second. Talk more about it. Kill a damage unit or destroy a landmark. Fantastic. More ways to interact with landmarks. It's good to see. We're starting to see the rough cost of this too. This is a pretty good card actually. Very flexible card. I think this card's actually generally quite powerful. Mostly if landmarks become kind of meta, then this is going to be like... Like it's going to be like a battle of like... <clears throat> If landmarks become like super popular and everyone's using them, we'll see more cut, more scorched earths starting to hit decks. Then, as people start to run more removal for landmarks, people will stop playing landmark decks and they will just cycle around. Uh, these cards exist existing makes it more and more difficult to consider landmarks as a viable option, depending on whether or not we can protect them. We have some Demacia cards here. Stony Suppressor, two mana, one three. All spells cost one more. Ah, uh, we've seen plenty of cards like this in uh, digital card games before. In Hearthstone, lots of these cards exist. Um, Stony Suppressor is actually kind of good. I can see this card being playable. It's a very aggressive tool. Uh, you won't see this in many control decks. Alternatively, you might, but you play cards like these to stop your opponent from playing certain spells. It's also like an anti-combo activator. Like, you can stop your opponent from playing like War Mothers and stuff like that, which is kind of cool. Uh, but... Yeah, I think this is going to see some experimentation as we start to see what spells are being played in what decks at what key moments Stony Suppressor comes down into the field to stop the opponent from doing what they want to do with their game plan. I can see this being very powerful against burst speed spells too. Stony Suppressor is pretty cool. Sharp Sight, 2 mana uh, Damasian burst speed spell. Give an ally plus 2 plus 2 and I can block units with elusive this round. <laughs> it's Reach! Uh, we're getting reach. A two mana burst speed spell that gives an ally plus two and plus two is already pretty fantastic. And giving it the ability to block elusive units, that's quite powerful. Even a burst speed spell in Nox, uh, Demacia like this can see play. I think Sharp's, uh, Sharp Sight looks like a fantastic card. It's also a common, uh, common so it's going to be very obtainable to a lot of uh, free to play players and casual players. This card's fantastic. It's a very powerful card. We also have a uh, 7 mana 6-6 six, six, Stalking Broadmother uh, Fury Scout Dragon. Mm, this might be just a little bit too expensive. Um, of course there's going to be cards that generate dragons. So that's pretty cool in that aspect. In general though, I don't think your main deck a card like this, depending on like obviously if we see Shivana come around the corner and she brings some heavy dragon synergy, then maybe it's a consideration. But without pure dragon synergy, perhaps this card is not as good. I might be completely wrong though, because it does have Scout. Scout with Fury, that's a very interesting combo. That's kind of a deadly combo. Actually, this card might see some play. It's very similar to Genevieve, except for you don't buff the board, but you buff yourself with this. Hmm, the card's low key. It might it might get some work done. Oh, ho, 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 ho. there there she is. Shivana chilling in the background right there, guys. Tomorrow we might see Shivana. So Dragon Guard Lieutenant. When I'm summoned, if you behold a dragon, fantastic, fantastic keyword. The way that interacts with like building a dragon deck. That's good to see. Grants me challenger. This is a very good card. If we have like very strong dragon decks, you'll definitely see yourself playing this. Absolutely brilliant card. Two mana three two. That can gain challenger two. That's a fantastic card. And one more. Excellent. Let's go. Uh, Egghead researcher. When I'm summoned, create a random dragon follower in hand. Nice. Cool. Cool, I'm super excited for dragon cards. Okay, let's talk about this um landmark a little bit more because I don't believe it's gonna it's the most powerful landmark. 
So you're building some sort of mid-range Noxus deck and then you slap down this landmark and it just generates you insane value. So what's this good with? It's good for like dealing with chump blockers. If you can set this up, then you can just get continuous value over and over. What deck does it really hit right now? Like you're probably not putting this into like your build water Noxus deck. And there isn't really any Noxus decks that exist. That's like pure Noxus, if that makes sense. Uh, so I guess maybe we might consider building a new deck around this card. That might be a little bit of a stretch though. I might be overlooking this card, but I don't think it's that incredible. Because you do kind of sacrifice a lot of tempo. And this card is kind of like a tempo tool. So I guess like if we skip that one turn, it could also be a downfall too. Like if you're versing another mid-range deck, you need to make sure your board's in check. Yeah, I, I don't see I don't see this card being extremely fantastic, but at least it's a landmark that represents something that's not a little bit chaotic and random. So I can respect that. But I think the power level of this landmark in particular is kind of low, mostly because Noxus doesn't really have a true deck. However, however, if we start to see some tremendous uh, dragon cards, and then we maybe consider building a Noxus Demacia deck with Nox Kraya Arena, that could be something. That could be something. Anyway, I'll leave it. I'll leave that with you guys. Take it as you will. Have a fantastic day, and I will see you tomorrow.